My 3D graphics engine was a fun project, but I wanted to go farther, so I created a 4D graphics engine as you can see here. And the shape that I use is a tesseract, which is basically the 4D version of a cube. I created this engine using the uh, first 3D graphics engine that I made and just modifying the code a bit. It adds three new rotations, which is WX, WY, and WZ, which can be controlled using some keys, just like in the first graphics engine. It's hard for your brain to visualize 4D graphics as, well, we've never seen it before, except in simulations. To understand the math behind 4D and even 3D graphics, you'll have to first understand a small bit of linear algebra, specifically matrix multiplication. Now to multiply two matrices together, you'll have to make sure that the first matrix, we'll just call it M A, has the same columns as the second matrix has rows. And now that I have both of these matrices made, I will start filling them in with uh, some numbers. Okay, now that I have it filled with numbers, uh, we'll start doing the actual multiplication part. So to multiply two matrices together, you'll have to take the first number of the first matrix, which is 1, and multiply it by the uh, first number of the second matrix, which is 7 and this will equal seven. And we'll take seven and leave it here. And then we'll take the second number of the first matrix and then the second number down of the second matrix. And this will be two times nine, which is 18. And we'll want to add that onto seven. This equals 25. And then the same thing, the third number in the first matrix and then the third number down in the second is 33 because 3 times 11 is 33. And that will leave us with 58. And this result matrix will go right here. Okay, and then the next number, which will go right here, is going to be the same thing, which is the first number of the first matrix. I'll just erase this here. And this time we'll multiply it by the second number in the second matrix, which is one times eight, which equals eight. And then we'll do the same thing as last time, but with the second column instead of the first one, or sorry, row, which is 20. Three times 12. And this, no, this number will be 64. Okay, and then we'll start with the second column of the first matrix with the first row of the second matrix. Okay, four, seven, 28. And this number will be 139. 
then second column, second row. And by this point, I'm pretty sure you understand the concept of matrix multiplication. Here's our final result, which is a two by two matrix. This is my first 3D graphics engine that I created about five to six months ago. And what this does is it converts X, Y, and Z coordinates with X, Y, and Z rotations to create an X, Y vertice on the Pi game window here. And it's pretty much the same in my 4D graphics engine, except it converts the extra W, X, W, Y, and W, Z rotations with the W position. And one of the big resources for this project was this post on Stack Exchange asking um, how rotation in 4D can be performed. And the second answer shows how 3D is performed and then later explains how 4D can be shown right here. And these are all matrices that will be multiplied together. I haven't posted in a while, so I decided to create this video as sort of a filler between my last video and the new one that I'm making, which is creating a 3D game using the graphics engine that I created. And here's a little sneak peek at what that's gonna look like. I still have quite a bit of work to go, so it still might be a little while before the video is finished, but I am working on it. 